Duncan, on a scale of one to ten, what do you think you are? A six. I think you're a three. Howdy who? Who's this in all his awkward glory? This is my son, Duncan. Let's hold there for a sec. This guy's an artist. Watch and learn. Is this a girl? Oh. <laughs> Hola, comrades. My name is Alex Dotson. Welcome to another installment of From the Cinema, George Mason U University's movie criticism program on Mason Cable Network. This week at the JC Cinema, this summer's indie sensation, The Way Way Back, finds its way to our screen. Now, without further ado, let's do this thing. Have you ever felt depressed, out of place within your own family, and helplessly alone? Me too. Maybe we'll all learn something from this movie. Duncan is a 14-year-old kid who is pretty unhappy with his life. His relationship with his mom, Pam, is strained, made worse by the fact that her boyfriend, Trent, is a complete asshole. As the film begins, the big happy family goes on a vacation to Trent's beach house in Cape Cod for the summer, much to Duncan's dismay. Looking to distance himself from Trent, Duncan wanders aimlessly through the town until he befriends the owner of the local water park, Owen. While Owen may have the responsibilities of an adult, He's actually an easygoing man-child who hires Duncan on a whim. Now, since originality is not this movie's strong suit, I think you can see where this is going. Duncan bonds with the quirky staff at Water Wiz, finds some sense of self-worth, and finally confronts the evil boyfriend Trent. Ultimately, Duncan grows as a person, we laughed a lot and cried a little, and everybody leaves the theater with that warm, fuzzy feeling in their heart and or their stomach. Now. The performances are the standouts in an otherwise forgettable film. Sam Rockwell is hilarious as Owen the manager. His big kid persona never overstays its welcome, and he knows when to pull it back a bit for the emotional growth scenes with Duncan towards the end of the film. William James plays Duncan and must be commended for finding the balance between depressingly funny and finding the funny in depression, if that makes any sense. He's crafted an easily relatable character that never gets annoyingly sad or too angsty. Finally, Steve Carell played against type as the big mean jerk face Trent. Some of the things he says to Duncan are actually pretty cruel for a comedy. The big difference between mean Steve Carell from the early seasons of The Office and mean Steve Carell in The Way Way Back is the sense of self-awareness of the situation. In The Office, before Michael Scott was the complete bumbling idiot, he was extremely insensitive in awkward situations and ended up coming off as a loser trying to be cool by being mean. In The Way Way Back, he's actually a lot like Duncan in his lack of self-confidence and desire to be liked. He just reacts differently than Duncan by putting everyone down instead of curling up into a ball and being a sad little child. The Way Way Back is definitely worth a watch. While it may not be the best hour and 45 minutes you'll ever spend in a theater, it definitely will not be the worst. If you're looking for a bit of an escape from reality, be sure to stop by and catch The Way Way Back this weekend at the JC Cinema. <sighs> That'll do it for me today, folks. Be sure to watch again next week when I get to talk about how beautiful Jennifer Aniston is. Well, I guess to be more specific, I'll be reviewing this summer's comedy, We're the Millers. So yeah, Jennifer Aniston. Have a fantastic day. It's a long time to be nowhere. Well, that's where I was. Duncan, if we were going to make this work, then there has to be trust. This is the only place I'm happy. You got a hell of a kid here. Hold, please. Hold. Just hold there.